right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody and how are y'all doing? Did y'all happen to catch? I'm trying not to shut my TV back there. I can't be getting no copyright strikes. Did y'all happen to catch season two, episode seven of Shawnee's Home Court? So Shawnee done stood up here and watched this doggone documentary about um, processed food that like everybody else be be watching and whatnot. Now um they talking about beaver butt juice and vanilla ice cream and all this kind of stuff all the stuff that's in stuff to give it flavoring and all this kind of stuff and she want to carry her kids to a farm to get them to eat more whole food or whatnot so she carried them out to the farm where uh they can see where the food come from and stuff they out here trying to milk cows all this kind of stuff look at the chickens and goats and it looked like doggone a uh, petting zoo basically so she carrying them out here with to come one with the animals. Like Kiana said, why you want them to come one with animals that they later gonna have to uh, cook and eat? But she get them out there and everything, and they trying to uh, pick carrots and gather up eggs, and that dog on mouse gonna lock Shani them in the uh, chicken coop, talking about so they can overcome their fear. Excuse me, I got a hair in my eye. Overcome their fear, them dog <laughs> dog on chickens. That boy is something else. But anyway, so she's doing all this trying to encourage them to eat all this whole this whole food or whatever. And Miles gonna sit up there and tell Kiana she out there just like she, she on broke back mountain. <laughs> the boy is too much. And Miara, I think that's her name, talking about she, she done seen the animals, so now she need to be a vegetarian. Mal said she can't be no vegetarian. She destroyed the whole family and go against everything in the family about her. She become a vegetarian. That boy, I'm going to tell you, this show, Miles took this show because he would have made it funny tonight. But anyway, after they did all they formed and whatnot, they went into the form, the former store. Excuse me, just the form, the, the mark, the form, the form has their own market. And in the market, they have all the vegetables that they grow or whatever. So it's, it's organic vegetables. And then they have, um, grass fed meat or whatever. So they go, um, shopping and Shirley buys all the meat and stuff and they go home and cook it up. And her idea apparently worked well. Instead of going to the form, maybe she should have just bought the food because, they love the food. Don't nobody want to be a vegetarian no more. They love the flavors. And I'm going to tell you, I'm from Mississippi. I grew up farming. I grew up eating um, grass-fed meat because that's what I was raised on. And it does taste different. It tastes way better than what you buy in the grocery store. It is absolutely delicious. Like grass-fed meat um, and stuff made in the garden. I mean, that's why I want to move now. I want to move to a... Uh, different house where I can have a chicken coop and have a bigger garden and stuff and my husband wanted a cow and so we can have fresh milk or whatnot and I really want to go on and move so we can go back like it was when we was growing up because that's what we had when we was growing up we didn't go to the store to buy no nothing everything came from the farm so I agree with Shani and I think it was a good idea because you get so the food is just so much of a high quality and so it just tastes so much better we didn't eat a lot of sandwich meat the, our sandwich meat consisted of hot dogs and bologna it's the closest you got to <laughs> some sandwich meat and you had cheese and that's literally it um, some country fried ham was sandwiched meat. That was our sandwich. We didn't have a lot of processed food. So that was really just the most that happened on that episode. Then we had episode, um, uh, eight. Um, y'all have to excuse me because I've been operating on about three or four hours of sleep at night. Shani, Shani and Kiana keep going out like through the week between Monday and Thursday. And um They keep going out between Monday and Thursday. 
Well, Shawty be uh, want Kiana to drink and stuff. And Kiana keep telling Shawty she ain't no drinker. She can't handle her alcohol like that. Because if she drink, the next day she gonna be hung over. And Shawty got some BS excuse feeling like because of her age and all this, that, and the other that she should be able to handle her liquor. Baby, your age don't have nothing to do with it. Y'all excuse me, I want lip gloss on my body. Your age don't have nothing to do with it. It has to do with how much you drink and how immune and used to alcohol your body is. Uh, your body is not not your age, baby. Just because you a certain age don't mean you used to alcohol. You got to drink it in order for your body to be used to it. I don't drink them. I drunk when I was younger, but baby, that was ten years ago. I try to drink now. Shit, I be two sheets to the damn wind. I will tell you, I'm gonna sleep good tonight because it's ten thirty, and I'm about to go in here and get this glass of wine, and I'm gonna sip on it. I'm gonna be. <sighs> <laughs> That's what you do when you get older. Everybody don't lead a uh, life. Shawnee leave. And she and I are really about the same age, honey. But my liver is used to <laughs> used to this doggone hydrating water. It ain't used to uh, her, her type of clear alcohol, baby. No. So the, I, couldn't, I couldn't hang with her either. But anyway. She... <laughs> Kiana said, Shawnee, well, she like, <laughs> Dr. Jekyll, she want to be nice to her and go out, and then she'll be mean to her in the morning and be the mean boss after she knows she done kept her out all night drinking. <laughs> so she be trying to duck and dodge, Shawnee, because Shawnee be manipulating her into going out. And then, you know, hollered at her the next day. And she said she ain't for it, that going out. And then Shawnee going to call her, wanting to go out at like 11 p.m. on a weeknight. Knowing that she got to be there to carry the kids to school like at 6 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock in the morning to pick the kids up. Because she the nanny, Kiana the nanny, and carry them to school. And y'all just not getting at 11 o'clock. Now think about it. If you going to an event that start at 11, what time you going to get home? Around about three, probably, or later. No earlier than no earlier than two thirty. So I mean, or three. And then if you drunk, <laughs> she gonna be hungover and dragging the next day. So anyway, Mimi said they got a dysfunctional <laughs> friendship. So she decides to try to mediate the whole friendship and coming in with one of them plastic red and white spats and said that's the talking stick. Whoever holds the stick gets to talk, honey. Shawnee took the stick and wouldn't give it back. But in the end, Mimi got to help them get straightened out. And Shawnee said she wasn't going to call after they got through arguing. <laughs> Shawnee said she wasn't going to call Kiana no more. Asked her to go out at night. Kiana said, yeah, right. We'll see how long that's, that's going to last. Because she, she just supposed to call on the weekend. And Kiana said uh, that it's only going to last for like a week or so. And then Shani going to be calling the right back. So, Sh Sharif is on the varsity high school team. And he's training with a trainer that was, of course, a professional basketball player. And all of that, he's really training hard because he's getting ready to gra graduate and we'll be going to college for a couple of years and then hope to eventually, I guess, become pro or whatever and go to the NBA or whatever. But Shakir wants to make the varsity team because he wants to play. So he done booked the trainer at the time that Sharif is supposed to have a trainer. So to me, that's on the trainer to how the booking is done anyway. But I think the intentions was for the boys to practice together, but that ain't what is in their mind. Uh, Sharif is used to having his own time, and he wants to maintain his one-on-one -on -one time with um, his trainer. But they end up having a shootout game for time with the trainer and Shani come up there it's like what are y'all doing she said Shakir why you just didn't tell your brother why you wanted to train with the trainer 
So Shakir shamefaced and didn't really want to tell Sh Sharif why. And Shelly's like, go on, boy, go on, tell him that because she wasn't in the mood. And he told him, you know, because, you know, I want to be on the varsity team so I can play with you. And Sharif was so freaking touched. Like, they, he said that was their first brotherly moment. Like, they ain't never had a real brother-to-brother -brother moment. And it's their, their first brotherly moment. He was really touched. It was so sweet that his it was his last year and, like, literally his brother wanted to play with him his, you know, since it was going to be his, his, I think his first it was Shakir's first year of high school, I think. And Sharice last year, and he, but he wanted to play on varsity instead of junior varsity so he could play with his brother. But the boy already dunking, like, way, way high up. And Sharif told him, if you already dunking like that, you definitely going to be on varsity. So it looked like all is going to work out. It was really sweet, so it's a good show. If y'all have not been watching Shawnee's Half Court, y'all need to tune into it because it's been really, really good. So that is all of my review. I will see y'all tomorrow for the have and the have not. Y'all have a blessed night.